Bishop T.D. Jakes offers support to his son that has been accused of indecent exposure. Bishop T.D. Jakes of Dallas says he is offering help, support, and restorative grace to his son, Jermaine Jakes, who faces an indecent exposure charge. Bishop T.D. Jakes of Dallas says he is offering help, support, and restorative grace to his son, Jermaine, who faces an indecent exposure charge. Jermaine Jakes quoted as stating, it is in moments like these that I am grateful that we do not preach that we are the solution, but we look to Christ for resolution. Jakes, pastor of Dallas Megachurch, the Potter's House, said in a written statement provided to the Dallas Morning News late Friday night. So then, as a very human family with real issues like many other people, we will draw from the same well of grace to which we have led others to drink and be refreshed, the statement said. According to police, Jermaine Jakes, 29, exposed himself before an undercover Dallas police vice detective on the night of January 3rd at Kais Park near West Kais Boulevard and Southampton Road. He was detained at the scene and released, and is often done in such cases. He turned himself into the Dallas County Jail on Thursday and was released after posting $1,000 bail. The charge is a Class B misdemeanor, punishable by up to six months in jail and a $2,000 fine. Jermaine Jakes is one of five children of T.D. Jakes and his wife, Sarita. The pastor is an international figure based on his many TV appearances and best-selling books. Last month, he was in the news for the release of a movie he produced, Not Easily Broken, and for speaking at a prayer service attended by President Barack Obama on the morning of his inauguration. Also, Jermaine Jake's arrest made the news this week and prompted much internet comment, but his father's ministry will not be seriously undercut by his son's trouble which has been predicted um, by socialists and analysis. Because T.D. Jakes had consistently preached compassion, Lee said, most in the public will show compassion over the trouble in the Jakes family. He does He does not have a judgmental message, Lee said. It has been a Bible-thumping, finger-pointing kind of preacher who would be in trouble now. So basically, Jermaine faces a charge of indecent exposure related to that incident at the park. And um, so basically, after Jake's, um, after Jermaine Jakes turned himself in at a local jail, um. After his surrender, a judge basically released Jakes on a personal recognition, recognizance bond and information um, on this situation has also been discussed. Um, and when this situation first happened, I did hear about it briefly. And it wasn't too publicized or too much in the news, but I heard about something happening with T.D. Jakes son in a park or something. So, um, my personal take and my personal opinion on this whole situation is I'm not exactly sure what went on or what was going on in his mind. If he had a moment, he stepped out. But last time I checked, you're not supposed to go around doing stuff like that. That's wrong. So, um, (laughs) I definitely think whatever's happening, that they should, um, definitely seek help if help is needed. But, um, definitely when you're a PK... And your dad is the bishop. That's definitely not something you want your child going about doing. So, um, my whole commentary on that whole thing is, um, what's wrong is wrong, what's right is right, and you're not supposed to do that at no park. That is what unacceptable. Because I know if I was a park, I don't want to see nothing like that. I don't want nobody doing nothing like that to me. You don't want nobody doing nothing like that to you. So, um, basically, um, just to go into a little bit of, um, other news within the family, um, 
another one of his children, he also has about two other daughters that are also uh, pastors. He also had another daughter, Sarah Jakes, who actually got pregnant out of wedlock when she was only, I believe she was 13 years old when she got pregnant with her first child out of wedlock. So, um, having your daughter get pregnant as a teenager when she's 13 is not ideal, especially when you're a pastor. And you definitely don't want your child, definitely a PK, to get pregnant out of wedlock at 13. And um, I don't really know what was going on. And I, I don't know what was going on that may put her in a position to have a kid when she's only 13, a teenager. I think 13-year-olds 13 13 year should be, like, playing tag and playing with makeup and stuff. That's still a kid. They should be doing little girl things, not trying to be grown at 13. But um, what happened with his daughter, Sarah, is, you know, it's just unfortunate that that she was just so young. Babies having babies, like only 13 years old. And um, I know she speaks about it and she talks about it and she's frank about it. She actually wrote a book. And uh, about the whole situation about how she was only 13 years old and teenager when she got pregnant out of wedlock with her boyfriend. And um, I think 13 is definitely way too young. That's 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 just way 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 too young, especially when they're not even married and stuff. That's wrong. But um, even after that whole situation. Um, uh, getting pregnant out of wedlock. She actually ended up marrying again to Pastor Torre. So Robert Torre is her new husband. And so she's now a married woman. She's a wife. And has actually had kids with her new husband. And formed a family. So it's like, even though she went through like that ordeal of being like a pregnant teen mom out of wedlock. It's like that redemptive grace of when Pastor Torre decided, Robert Torre decided that he wanted to step in and to take that place and that he wanted to take her out of that and make her a wife, a pastor's wife. And now she's up there ministering to people and preaching the good news and gospel. I feel like God can use whatever vessel he wants to use to spread the message. And I definitely, I mean, nobody ideally would want to get pregnant when they're 13. Everybody knows that that society definitely frowns upon that. Um, definitely against it. And, and that's against biblical principles. So I definitely do not in any type of way um, support getting pregnant when you're just a teenager. Even Britney Spears, the younger sister, Jamie Spears, also got pregnant when she was just a teen. I believe she was around the same age when she got pregnant with her boyfriend and she was a pregnant teenager. So, um, I definitely think that her husband decided that he wanted to redeem her and take her from that redemption. And, um, now she's a pastor. They're leading their own church to have their own services. And now she's a married woman. And then her other sister, who is actually a pastor as well, she's married and that's about all I know about his some of his kids. I believe they said um, he has about five children. But I really only know about um, the ones that are actually like out in the limelight that pastor and have like their own um, preaching, um, their own churches where they preach and serve within their congregations. And, um, I think basically, definitely, like, whenever you're, like, in ministry, like, definitely your family's in ministry, your dad's a pastor, or you become a pastor and you have kids, I think definitely there could be a lot of pressure on PKs to definitely, to live, like, this ideal life and to do everything right. And everyone's always watching with a magnifying glass to see what you're doing and how you're doing. And I think it can definitely be, like, a lot of pressure on people. Um, Definitely to be, like, PKs. And definitely when your father, especially when they're mega passers, and 
when something happens, everyone's going to hear your business. When something happens, everyone's going to find out about it. You know what I mean? So there's definitely, like, a lot of pressure to live up to this ideal. And there's, like, a lot of pressure to, like, not do anything that will ruffle people's feathers or do anything that will cause any type of scandal. Because anything that happens, everybody pretty much is going to find out and or hear about it, you know? So... I just wanted to take time to just talk a little bit about the Jakes and their ministry and their church, which is located in the Dallas area. Um, for people that have had an opportunity to watch their television, they um, air regularly on TVN. I normally watch their presentation on TVN, as well as their online services that you can also watch as well online. So that's about it for now. Um, if there's anything else you wish to contribute, please feel free to comment below.